have a winter storm warning in effect this morning up in the mountain pass. The Snoqualmie Pass has officially closed. Yeah, I mean, look at this camera here uh, in Snoqualmie, the, the central summit there. That is where we find our John Hopperstad this morning. John, how you doing up there? Well, you can see we are right at the closure here, Liz, right at exit 34 as you're heading into North Bend area. We've got a line of state patrol vehicles stopping everybody. You can't get any farther past this point. You're forced off the exit here, but a lot of the trucks have lined up just waiting for a Snoqualmie Pass to reopen here. It is closed right now. In the westbound lanes, there's just too many spin-outs and collisions ahead of us here. They've got to get that cleared out before they can reopen it. At this point, they don't have a timeline for that. They don't know when uh, the westbound lanes may reopen. Now, the eastbound lanes are open at this time, but chains are required unless you have all -wheel an all-wheel vehicle, and uh, that could change as well. we got to keep a close eye on that. As you can see, cars now pulling up here. I don't know. We're seeing a lot of cars up here. Usually, it's the trucks that have to deal with let's get that freight over the pass. No real reason to be driving over the passes uh, if you're just commuting here or in a car. Uh, but we have seen a lot of trucks and cars uh, trying to make their way over the pass here. But you can see uh, this state patrol officer here telling them they got to go off the exit here or back it up and park it along the highway here. The irony of all this is the conditions are actually getting better just to the west of us, right around the Snoqualmie Parkway. Earlier, it was compact snow and ice. It was pretty treacherous driving. But within about 30 or 4 minutes, uh, it turned over to some rain, turned into some slush. We could see pavement. The driving got much better, but once you get up to this point, as you're coming up in the elevation here to the North Bend area, again, it is still snowing. It is still compact snow and ice on the ground, and it is slick up here. We have seen uh, big rigs jackknifed over to the side of the road here and, and cars spinning their tires. So it is definitely treacherous driving up here, and we know that because right now the, west, the eastbound lanes here of I-90 are shut down completely here at milepost 34. We'll keep you updated, though, when they may open later this morning. For now, guys, we'll send it back to you.